What's going on guys? It's Guillermo Matia. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to thank you for stopping by, okay? I really appreciate you. So, I want to make this quick. This video is all about that beast. There's a beast that sits around on Google almost every time. Uh, and that beast is called Yelp. Yes, Yelp, okay? I mean, I want to I want to ask you this, right? When you, you know, you take your wife out for a bite to eat or whatever the case may be, right? You go on Google, right? That's the first step you take. The second step is, boom, you head over to Yelp, right? Because you want to check the reviews. You want to make sure that when you take your wife out to eat, that food is delicious. You don't want to take your wife to no crummy restaurant. You want to make sure it has a five-star rating, right? So let me ask you this. If you found the business, right? You, you, you found that restaurant that you're looking for and you found that they had maybe like one star out of like 89 people and they're all giving them bad reviews. What would you buy from them, right? Obviously, no. You're not going to buy from them because they're getting terrible reviews, right? So that's this, this video is basically all based on that, right? Helping those guys with those very, very bad reviews and helping them uh, just revamp themselves and get back where they need to be, okay? Because chances are, when those reviews are bad, there's a lot more than just just the way the restaurant is working or the way the business is working. It's the marketing. It's a lot to do with marketing, okay? So I'm going to show you in this video how you can push those bad reviews down, okay? Little techniques, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how to prospect, how to find these businesses, how to follow up, and lots more, okay? I want you to stick all the way to the end of this video because sometime this week, I'm going to be releasing a software, okay? A software that works exclusively with Yelp, only with Yelp, okay? So we all know that Yelp is a heavy hitter. We all know this already, so it's one to really pay attention to. So I'm going to stop talking now because I know I'm running my mouth, and so let's dive right into it. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to show you exactly how to get this done. Uh, it's very, very easy and it, it's not complicated, okay? There's a lot of so-called gurus out there making things complicated. We don't do that here. I'm going to show you my approach. Uh, my approach is usually laid back and I've done really well, okay? So this is just what I do and this is just my approach and you could take this approach. You could you know take some things from this video and apply it in your own way in your own business that's why I make these videos that's why I take time out of my days to make these videos so that you can learn some new things and apply them to your own local marketing business okay so let's go ahead let me just move this up here alrighty so um, usually when I'm on Yelp I and I'm prospecting and things like that, I stick to one niche, okay? So you wanna stick to one niche. You can write that down now. Stick to one niche. Don't make it complicated. You know, there's a lot of so-called guys out there saying, yeah, you know, target it target this person, target that person, but at the end of the day, you got to stick to one, okay, and really define what that business needs, and then you go after them, okay, so for this example, this is just a car service that I that I found in uh, Brooklyn, New York, very, very easy, I just went on Yelp, typed in car service, Brooklyn, New York, okay, why Brooklyn, New York, I know you're wondering, why Brooklyn, New York, well, in Brooklyn, New York, there's a lot of competition, all right, and there's a business, a uh, car service on like every other block okay and I know that because I've not only lived there but I've done a lot of homework on the area as well demographics on business and and, and so much more okay so um, you want to educate yourself okay educate yourself on a specific area if you're in Los Angeles in a specific town a city see the see how many businesses are in the area okay um, usually where there's a lot of like in New York, for example, there's a Chinese restaurant on like every corner or a deli on every corner. Then, you know, there's this chance. Chances are is that they're competing. So wherever there's competition, that's where you want to be at the end of the day. OK. Um, and New York City is a different ball game because in New York, a lot of businesses think, you know, oh, well, you know, I know this and that, blah, blah, blah. I know SEO. I know web design. Everybody in New York knows everything. So at the end of the day, when you approach these businesses, even in New York or a high competitive city like Los Angeles, you really got to come off straight and strong. Show them what you're going to do. Show them how you're going to do them, uh, how you're going to do it. And, and, and just just show 
show it okay show it very very simple doesn't need to be too complicated okay whether it be web design seo you said you could rank websites okay so show them some examples all right you even if you don't have experience maybe you know you want to start selling web design services right so you can take screenshots and show them examples of things that you can potentially serve them with okay so at the end of the day it's all about coming strong and sharp now if you're in a small town it's a different ball game you could actually walk up there or do you know give them a call make it really really easy on yourself and um, that's pretty much it guys I usually recommend honestly if you're gonna start with Yelp and you know start targeting these businesses etc go with the little guys all right start small you don't have to go big right now start small work with the little contractors the plumbers the guy that works as a sole proprietor okay so these are the guys that you want to focus on it'll make things easier and it's usually very easy to land these guys for the littlest things okay um so this is just a business that i found um i found that they have two stars and like i mentioned in the beginning of the video these star ratings are actually showing uh they're actually showing on the page uh, first page of google so let me go ahead and type in Bushwick Car Service, right? I'm going to type in Bushwick Car Service really quick in Brooklyn, okay? And let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see it here. The, the, as I mentioned before, that those Yelp reviews are shown on the first page of Google. Now the question is, how do we actually push that down? There's a variety of ways that you can push this down. Look, there is no secret to this. Like there's these guys out there talking all of this and that. Eh, hey, you gotta do this. You gotta, you gotta be. You know, no, no, you don't. Okay, press releases. I'm gonna tell you right now. Press releases, right? You blog a little bit. You set up some social profiles. You get some videos going. You use basic common sense to push bad links down. Trust me. I've done it for high-end six-figure, half-a-million-dollar clients. It's crazy. And I've pushed bad reviews down using YouTube videos, blogs, press releases. It's really that simple. And it doesn't need to be complicated. Just use that. Blogs, social media profiles, YouTube videos, press releases. Those four things are what you need to get that going. Update their listings. Do everything possible to uh, get them pushed down. Chances are that you know if you're targeting targeting somebody in the chiropractic niche, maybe they're not in every uh, chiropractic listing site. So you want to get them listed on those sites so you can push those down as well. Okay, so really pay attention to that. Um, and I've used the same thing. You could everything I'm telling you guys, and I, I always make these videos. Let me get myself in here really quick. I always make these videos to share, you know, the approach that I use essentially. And so you can take some little things and apply them in your own business, you know. That's why I do this and I, you know, I don't want to waste your time. I just want to give you all the value possible. So these are just the approaches that I use on a daily basis. There's no signs to this thing. To push a bad link down, that's all you need. Okay, it takes some time. Okay, but when you have a team involved and you're really leveraging your team, you can get you can get it to work. It takes time. Okay, so you got to make that clear when you write contracts. Okay, you got to make that all clear. Doesn't matter what business you're working with. Um, so that's it for that. That's how you push down a bad link. Um, as I mentioned before, you got press releases. My computer is a little laggy right now. If you're not sure what a press release is, just go to Google, type it in. You got free blogs. Okay, there's tons of free blogs. You got WordPress. There's tons of social media profiles out there that you can use. Okay, and you can use all of those things to push down those bad uh that bad link that's on the first page of Google you could also take a screenshot okay and mail it directly to the business you could direct mail it or you could email it directly I found their email just on the bottom of this page I just literally found it um, and if I don't get a response I would you know go up there personally usually car services are very small hand them my card or even set a time to speak with the owner really quick see how he could generate some more business now uh, you know, I would do what I have to do. That's what this is all about. You know, it's really stepping 
outside of the box and 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 just being on the edge you know you can't play it safe all the time you actually got to go out there and push work for it you really want to close this deal close it close that deal that you want okay whatever amount you're aiming after whatever service just get it done get it done asap okay don't sit around waiting because deals aren't going to come to you you got to go and get it all right so that's it for yelp um sometime this week i'm going to be building a resource that actually systemizes all of this so you get everything you need from yelp it makes it easier for you to land these businesses uh and um it just makes it easier you know um nowadays you know doing everything i just did here manually it could take a long time it takes a long time and you know we just don't have time for it you know we need leads now and that's why we continue to build these leads tool to you know use them in our own businesses because it just makes things easier you know versus going to the website and all that stuff we need leads we need them exported we need to call we need all that information ASAP so that's what this is all about so I gave you some hints right you already know what you can do to push down bad links um, there's some things to look for as well. If maybe you don't want to offer reputation management, take a look at the website. Maybe you could use reputation management as an angle to work them in and 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 more. You know, there's a ton more that you can do. Now, um, I also want to let you guys know as well, I'm going to be posting up a lot of, of more resources on my blog. I just got it up and going not too long ago. So you want to make sure to go check it out. Um, actually reopening a lot of the classes that I've done as well so if you missed out on any make sure to check them out um, I'm opening up the small business local niche authority uh, there's other videos on here as well make sure to follow us as well if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel subscribe to the YouTube channel Follow us on Twitter, Periscope, Facebook. And listen, I'm not telling you this so you could just follow me or whatever. I'm telling you this because it's just if me and you keep connected, you know, I'm just going to keep giving you information. You're just going to keep learning and you're going to be well on your way. You know, that's how I learned. You know, I learned from just, you know, I'm obviously self-taught, but, you know, I had other people that inspired me to continue to push, continue to close deals and get on it. So keep in touch, stay connected. And um, that's pretty much it. Make sure to check out GuillermoMata.com. I know it's the longest name in the world. G-U-I-L-L-E-R-M-O-M-A-T-A.com. I'll leave the link down below this video. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys need any advice, make sure to drop it down below. I'm happy to give you any advice you need on how to close uh, these leads on Yelp. You know, uh, Yelp is a powerhouse. It pops up on the first page of Google. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad at the end of the day. So that's what we come in and we fix it. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm Guillermo Mata, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.